You're on Flowey Bum and this fat Nick and the interview of fast food music. Big gang shit. First of all, you're a big Lean fan. What do you like about it the most? Like, what? Alright, so the thing. I've been drinking Lean for like, maybe like, four years every day. It's awesome. But if you haven't fucking tried it, don't do that shit. Cause you're gonna be stuck on that shit for a long time. And it sucks. But why so? If it's great for you, like... <laughs> uh, it's good, but like, on the long term effect, that shit's bad for you. Like you're gonna get addicted, and like if you're not strong mentally, you're gonna fall into other drugs. Yeah. Which thankfully that shit didn't happen to me. I cut it to a certain point, but like if you're not that strong, like you will fall in that shit. But it's lean, trying to fuck up. So you're really drinking it like every day? Yeah, every single day. Every single oh, day of my shit. life for like three, four years I've been on it. And what is your favorite brand of cup syrup? Like, ah, oh, shit. Shout out Walker. I need that sponsorship one time. Okay, and I'm pretty sure it would be very bad if the lean runs out. So how do you keep the lean on tour? You know, I, I know doctors. Oh, I, I got everywhere. my name on there. I'm good. So the people in the airport, like, they don't give a fuck about what's in the bottle? No, nah, because you got your name on it. Oh, really? It's prescription. Damn. I'm sick. I need it. <laughs> Okay, you always mentioned that you dropped after like ninth grade? Ninth grade. Yeah. Ninth grade, yeah. And you're doing great without it. Do you want to go back to school one day or is it a no no fuck? Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no, not going back. School sucks. Dude, school is the worst in the fucking world. I went to school to fucking do bad shit and turn the fuck up. But school sucks, dog. Like, you don't really need school unless you want to do like a lawyer or a doctor and shit like that. Then go to school. But if you want to do something else and like be your own uh, boss, boss, I wouldn't say drop out, but you can drop out because you only need fucking school. Yeah, especially if you want to be a rapper. Yeah, if you want to be a rapper, fuck school. You don't need that <laughs> shit. But if you don't want to be a rapper, stay in school. It's good. Uh, how had kids treated you at school when you weren't selling drugs and rapping, like when you were just making videos with Puya on YouTube? Oh shit, so. All right, like I had a little bit of friends, yeah. but I had good friends. But like a lot of kids didn't give a shit, they were like assholes, like, oh shit, fuck him. But I had some good friends, but majority of the kids fucking sucked. But it's, it's lit, because I got money now, and y'all fucking crumbs, alright? So <laughs> suck my dick. And you always have some of the craziest, funniest uh, stories in the interviews that I've ever heard. Can you, like, uh, remember something from, from your school times or from when you were a kid? Oh shit, when you were kids? Yeah. Fuck, what the fuck did we do? I just I, I just sold a lot of drugs. <laughs> I know that story where like a kid wanted to buy some weed and your mom gave oh, it to you. Oh shit! Shout out my mom. Yeah, dog. She she's a, she's a trooper. She's a trooper. You know, sometimes I wasn't home. You know, a doormat. Put the weed on the doormat. Kids put the money. It's lit. Really? Hell yeah. And what about any fun stories from tours? From tours? Yeah. It was awesome, dog. Fucking. Just crazy shit, doing bad shit. Yeah. Germ, you know germ? Yeah, I know germ. Germ crashing cars, crashing through walls. Yeah. It's nuts. Shout out germ. Shout out, shout out germ. Yeah, yeah. Dog. And I'm pretty sure Chief Keef Salsa is one of your biggest influences. You, you've said about it a lot of times. Hell yeah. But what other people influence you in terms of rapping or in terms of style? Shit, honestly, like my biggest is like, Chief Keef, that's my favorite fucking yeah. rapper of all time. I love Kid Cudi, oh. Lil Wayne, and also like other shit that's not rap, like Brand New, it's like a rock yeah. band, that's my yeah. favorite fucking band of all time. Taking Back Sunday, I've Taking Back Sunday lyrics tattooed on my legs. Really? Yeah, it's lit. Yeah. But yeah, inspiration, like, probably like Chief Keef and the whole Glow Gang shit. And talking about your dress, is it all your hair? Yeah, or? this is all real hair. Really? Everything it's all real hair. And is there any way to like undread it one day? Shit, maybe. It would be fucking great to see, you know, <laughs> this type of hair like Ghost Man or like Puya, it would, uh, be, it would be crazy, I actually can't even, Yeah, it would be fucking yeah. nice. <laughs> and I know that you were a fan of skateboarding back in the days. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, growing up, all we did was skate. With, With all we did. Yeah, just wake up early, like 8 in the morning, go skate the whole day, 
and just do fucking shit with our friends. Like what? we didn't give a shit about nothing. No music, not just skate. Why don't you skate like now? Sometimes. Oh, dude, I got fat. <laughs> What? Lil Wayne is like 35 and, and he's still time. skating, man. Like, I don't have time for it now. Like, I'm always either in the studio or doing this or doing that or doing that. Like, So maybe when you'll get older? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs>
<laughs> what is the most disgusting thing that you did while being high? For example, Ozzy Osbourne was high and fucking licked the piss of his friend or something like oh, that's that. That's fucking <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. I don't really do gross shit like that. Yeah. I mean, I made a sandwich one day with like a grilled cheese yeah. with Fruit Loops in it, but that's not that gross. But yeah, but <laughs> it was a taste, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Everything you cook is tasty. Everything a one. A one. You've said that you were depressed while recording when the limb ran. Oh uh, yeah, like when I was young, like yeah. I went to a therapist and I got diagnosed with depression and stuff. But so I mean, it's always been like a lifelong thing. Yeah. But like when I made when the lean runs out, it was like a really hard time of my fucking life, like mm -hmm. all a bunch of bullshit. But I think it was tight. Like that gave me like motivation and more strength to go to make different types of music. And how will your next album will be different from when the lean runs out? Dude, my album right now. Yeah is the best shit I've ever made in my life. Really? It's crazy, like, it, it's nuts. When you hear it, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Any details on it? Like, maybe any features? I got, all right, I got Black Bear on it. I got McConan. I'm waiting on an Ugly God, Lil Peep. A few more, but I'm not gonna say who else yet, but. That's not the shit, and that's all. Thank you, man. Shout out fucking Russia. It's fucking lit, big gang shit. It's taking big perks in this sir. Thank you. That was dope. Thank you, man. Of course. Hate on me, they wanna hate on me. I'm gonna shoot a spray, yeah, they spray nothing day. I tell me I'm a nest of pussy, we'll say I'm a face. Run into a bag, I know I do this every day. I don't really know what's I don't really know what my dream is. I'm just kind of living life day by day and just taking it, you know, one step at a time. Because I'm pretty unstable at the moment. But I've been unstable the whole time.